Davey, a tough one to take this afternoon. Could you give us your reaction to that one? Do you know what? I'm frustrated. Like I'm disappointed for the players. But I'm frustrated at the same time. Um, I fought for 80 minutes. We done it with our shape, our press. It was all good. We gave away a cheap first goal, right? But we, we come back for that and I think we actually pose a, a bit of an attacking threat. We looked like we could get something from the game up to 78 minutes. And then their subs probably make a difference in the game in terms of who they're bringing on, the pace, the power. They're bringing on um, subs we made a wee bit later on in the game, struggled to get up to pace in the game, I felt. And I was hoping the subs made us a little bit stronger in terms of the, the subs that came on later on. I thought Curtis was very good. And I'm not saying the boys that came on weren't very good, weren't very good, sorry. But I don't think it helped us at that point. And then we give away our second goal and then it just comes a wee bit scrappy at that point. They get huge momentum at that point because they know they're in a game up to 78 minutes. They get huge momentum, huge confidence from the crowd. And then they start passing the ball, the movement's a wee bit more fluid, there's boys running in behind, the wide areas, the full backs are pushing up. So the game becomes a little bit stretched because we, we do try and chase it too because you're thinking like, we still have a nibble here, we still try and get something from the game. Score the third and is it the fourth? It's an unbelievable strike. Um, and then I think it's double. But really happy with the players up until a certain point in the game and, and the staff, but it's a collective, as a collective. We're all disappointed we never took a wee bit more from the game. It's really disappointing to come away from Ibrox because I thought the performance up until 80 minutes was largely there. Um, it come away with a 4-0 defeat. It doesn't feel like that, if that, if that makes sense. Like I'm not saying we deserve much more from the game, but I think we're a wee bit unlucky to come away with losing four goals here because I don't think Jamal had a, a tremendous amount of shots. They've been here before, and save, 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 pause, bar, and it wasn't really that type of game. So happy enough with the performance up until 78 minutes and then Disappointed as the players are, disappointed with the goals we concede for the second onwards. Your 100th league match in charge of the club this afternoon. Absolutely. Reflecting on that first century, um, any particular highlights given obviously a century in charge, quite a notable achievement I guess in this day and age? I try to think, it's really difficult. I'm, I need to have a word with myself. I kind of remember the negatives more than the positives. Like, when you see, as soon as you ask me that there, the first two that spring to mind is Motherwell and the Ross County game last year. Eh, Motherwell the year before, sorry, and the Ross County, and now that I'm talking about it, Dungeon United at Tanagai. So, try and put a positive spin on it. Taking the, taking the club to Hamden, disappointing again that we lose the game, but. If you look at that Motherwell game and that um, sorry, St Mirren game and the feeling we had getting the club to a, a final, it was, don't get me wrong, it was tempered because of not having the fans there. That was a huge disappointment. But in terms of the 100 games, probably that one. Probably the St Mirren game at, at Hamden. Um, being able to take the club to a, a final during hard times because I know it did help the fans as well, albeit you couldn't be there. But struggle with that focus, focus too much. When you asked me that there, the, the Motherwell game, the Dungeon 80 game and the Ross County game last year that we lost 1-0. But I think it's just, it, we take one, day, one game at a time, eh? One game at a time and it's hard that, I find it difficult at times trying to focus on patting yourself on the back, if that makes sense. You're kind of more used to looking at the, the negatives and how do we fix the negatives and you don't pat yourself on the back with the positive. But as a club, I'm just being honoured and privileged to be a part of this club's journey. We were sitting speaking about that in the, cha in the change room before the game. I think that's my, going into my 10th year, 10th year at the club. And we've been in the same league as Rangers eight times. This is the eighth season. Now when you put that into terms of the size of our club and the size of Ibrox, I think the only the only two seasons was the season we got promoted to the champ and the season we got relegated to League One. All every other season we've been up there competing with teams like Rangers, Hibs, Hearts, time teams like that. So I think it's a huge positive for everybody at the club. Maybe no me right enough. <laughs>
a sharp change in focus next week. We welcome Ayr to the Tony Macaroni Arena in the, yeah. the round of 16 of the League Cup. Obviously a completely different game from today. What's, what's your thoughts heading into that one? I think it's going to be a difficult game. I, I genuinely believe the Premier League could be comfortably a 16-team league. I do, and I think it would be really, really competitive. So when I probably look at Inverness last year, and I'm no using that as an excuse, but and you look at Air United this year and previous years, I think um, there's teams in the Championship that are not a million miles away from being Premier League teams in terms of performance and structures. So for me, it's no Premier League v Championship. It's a cup game of football against a very good team. I know Lee Bullen, I know what he's all about, I know they're a very, very good club, they're on the up. So it's going to be a really, really difficult game of football. Yeah, we'll go in it as the favourites, I understand that. So it bring, that itself brings a different type of pressure, but it also brings different dynamics to the game as well. So looking forward to cup football and trying to get the club to a quarter-final.